Cyclic cellular automata is a simple algorithm that has a wide variety of visual results to explore. I originally came across it from Softology on YouTube, and the original idea was proposed by Fish, Griffith, and Grabner in 1991. There are these quite interesting visuals here, as well as descriptions of droplets, defects, demons, clocks. It all sounds quite interesting. Let's take a look at cyclic cellular automata, or CCA, in action. Imagine that there are a grid of cells such that each cell in each step is surveying surrounding cells and making a decision on what to do. Imagine that each cell has an integer and that we are this middle cell, zero, here. We would survey all the neighbors surrounding us and then determine how many neighbors in the CCA algorithm are equal to our own integer value plus one. In this case, we have two. And if there are two or more of neighbors that are equal to me plus one, then I would increment myself. So in this case, there are two ones, which is one plus zero. Therefore, I increment myself, so zero plus one is one. And to get the range of visual results, there are four things that you can tweak. Range, threshold, states, and neighborhood. Range determines how far we're looking. And here, this, in this case, we have a range of one. In this case, we have a range of two. The threshold determines how many self plus one states must surround me in order for me to increment. For example, imagine that there is a threshold of two as we just discussed, so there are two ones, so we increment ourselves. Whereas if there were a threshold of three and there were two ones, that's not enough, so we would stay at the same integer value. Another parameter is states, which is the maximum number of integer values that we can have. In this case, there would be five states for a max state of four. In this case, there would be three states for a max state of two. The fourth parameter is the neighborhood, which determines where each cell would look. This is the more neighborhood, where any cell would look at all of the surrounding cells. This is the von Neumann neighborhood, where the cell only looks at cells immediately to the left and right and above and below it. When extending these neighborhoods, using the range parameter, a range of two in the Moore neighborhood would mean this, whereas in the von Neumann neighborhood it would mean this cross shape. Keep in mind, in other versions of the extended von Neumann neighborhood, it might have a diamond shape, but in this case we'll use the cross method. Another thing that I haven't mentioned about CCA or cyclic cellular automata are that it is cyclic. So when a state reaches the maximum state, it would go back to zero in a sort of sawtooth pattern. This means that if I had this grid of integers here worth, and I were the square in the middle, or the cell in the middle, four, then I would look around at my neighbors. And because I'm already at the max state, I would consider states at zero to be the state above my state. So I would find four of them. And then because there are two or more, then I would increment my own state. But because I'm already at the max state, I would also then cycle back to zero. Surprise quiz. Think about what would happen in each of the cells in this initial state if we had these parameters, range 1, threshold 3, states 5, so a max of 4, and the more neighborhood. What would each cell look like here? Pause and see if you can come up with that. And it looks like we would have all of our zeros become 1s, all of our 1s become 2s, etc, etc. Let's look at an example. 
if we were this cell here, we would survey the surrounding Moore neighborhood and note that because we are wrapping our cells, we're looking to the left, which then wraps around here. So we're looking at these cells as well. And we would find three twos, meaning three n plus one states, which is enough for our threshold. We would then increment the integer of the cell. And this is interesting because you can already see that this starts to form patterns in that we have this kind of wave happening where the cell, the, the line of zeros would be moving down each row. And that, that is the CCA algorithm. It's quite simple, but also has a lot of really interesting results, especially when you start layering on different parameters.